What if I told you that the humble worm in your compost bin is cleaning industrial wastewater right now? That researchers are tracking every wiggle of their worm bins with NASA level precision? And that worm juice, yes, the secretion from worms, might just hold the secrets to fighting cancer? I know, sounds like science fiction, but it's happening right now. I'm Sunny from Sunnyside Soil, and today we're diving into three innovations that are pushing worms from the backyard compost bin into the future. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll never look at a red wiggler the same way again. All right, so here's what we're covering today. First up, biofiltro and vermifiltration. How thousands of worms are replacing traditional water treatment systems and cleaning up some of the nastiest wastewater on the planet. Second, Vermitex monitoring systems. The tech that's turning worm farming from guesswork into precision agriculture. Think Fitbit, but for your worm bin. And finally, the wildest one, cancer research using the salomic fluid from Isenia fetida, otherwise known as the red wiggler. Scientists are studying the immune liquid inside of red wigglers to understand how it might fight tumors in humans. So let's get into it. Okay, so you probably know that worms are composting champions. They turn kitchen scraps into black gold. But what if I told you they can also clean the water from dairy farms, breweries, and even slaughterhouses? Well, enter Biofiltro, a Chilean company that's pioneered something called vermifiltration. Here's how it works. Traditional wastewater treatment uses chemicals, heavy machinery, and tons of energy. It's expensive and it creates a lot of sludge that has to go, well, somewhere. Vermifiltration? Well, it's basically a giant worm bin on steroids. Wastewater flows into a system filled with wood chips, sawdust, and millions of worms. The worms eat the organic matter in the water. Microbes in their gut break down the contaminants. The castings act as a biofilter, and what comes out the other end is clean water that meets environmental standards. No chemicals, no sludge, just worms doing what they do best. And the scale is insane. Biofiltro systems are processing millions of gallons of water a day at dairies in California, wineries in Chile, and food processing plants from around the world. One dairy in California was facing huge fines for water pollution. They installed the biofiltro system, and now their water is clean enough to irrigate crops, and they're selling worm castings as a side business. Think about that. The same worms that you have in your backyard bin well, they're scaling up to solve industrial water crisis. Now, is this perfect? Not yet, but vermifiltration works best for organic waste. Think food production agriculture. It's not cleaning up heavy metals or chemical runoff from factories, but for what it does do, it's a game changer. Low energy, low cost, and it turns waste into two valuable products, clean water and compost. The future of wastewater treatment might just be wiggly. All right, innovation number two. Let's talk about data. If you've ever kept a worm bin, you know it can feel like a guessing game. Are they too wet? Are they too dry? Are they too hot? Are they actually eating or are they just hanging out judging your vegetable scraps? Well, a company called Vermitech out of the US is changing all of that. They developed monitoring systems that give you real-time data on your worm bins, temperature, moisture, pH, and even oxygen levels. Now, this tech was developed for large-scale vermicomposting operations. Think farms producing tons of worm castings for agriculture. Vermitech uses a CFT method, which stands for continuous flow-through. Basically, you put feedstock on top and harvest from the bottom, giving you a continuous supply of castings. Now, CFTs are usually used in large commercial operations, but there are companies like the Urban Worm Company that sell continuous flow-through systems for home use. Now, the Urban Worm Company's bag won't have all the bells and whistles that the Vermitech system does, but it isn't hard to imagine that one day it could. Because the same principles apply whether you're running a commercial operation or you're just a curious hobbyist. Imagine this, you've got sensors in your bin, they're tracking your conditions 24-7, you get an alert on your phone, moisture dropping, temperature rising. You know something's off before your worms start dying or trying to escape. For commercial operations, this is huge. It means consistency, predictability, higher quality castings, and less waste. But here's what really excites me. This kind of tech is making vermicomposting more scientific. 
We're moving from, I think my worms are happy to, I know my worms are at optimal productivity. Now we know that worms thrive between 55 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and we know that they need moisture around 70 to 80%. But when you're managing thousands of pounds of material, maintaining these conditions is hard. Vermitech's monitoring system has taken the guesswork out. Plus, as these systems become more common, we're building a database of best practices. We're learning exactly what conditions produce the best castings, the fastest reproduction, and the healthiest worms. That knowledge benefits all of us, science and worms. Who knew it could be so cool? And if you're interested in trying the CFT system at home, I'll leave a link to the Urban Worm Company's bag below. Innovation number three, medical worms. Okay, take a deep breath. This one gets weird, but in the best way. Scientists are studying red wiggler immune fluid to understand how it might fight cancer in humans. Yeah, let me explain. Earthworms, including our friend Isenia fetida, the red wiggler, don't have a complex immune system like we do. No antibodies, no T cells. Instead, they have something called salomic fluid, basically the liquid inside of their body cavity. Now, if you've ever handled red wigglers and uh, they produce a foul smell almost, that's them releasing the salomic fluid. And in fact, Isenia fetida in Latin, fetida means stinky. So that's where they get the Latin name. Now, the salomic fluid is full of cells called salomocytes that attack foreign invaders. And here's where it gets interesting. These cells are really, really good at recognizing and destroying abnormal cells. Researchers have found that compounds in salomic fluid can trigger apoptosis, basically programmed cell death, in cancer cells. In lab studies, extracts from Mycenae fetida salomic fluid have shown the ability to slow or stop the growth of certain tumor cells. Now, and this is really important, we're talking about early stage lab research here. Petri dishes and animal models. This is not a cure for cancer yet. This is not something that you can go buy or use at home, but it's a fascinating frontier in understanding how nature's immune systems work and how we might learn from them. Think about it. Worms have been around for over 600 million years. They've survived by developing incredibly efficient ways to fight off bacteria, fungi, and parasites. What if, buried in that ancient biology, there are clues that we can use for modern medicine? Some researchers think that salomic fluid compounds could eventually be developed into new therapies. Maybe not to replace chemotherapy, but to complement it. To boost the body's own ability to recognize and fight cancer cells. And here's the thing that blows my mind. The same creature that's quietly composting your banana peels might also hold answers to one of humanity's biggest health challenges. That's the power of paying attention to the small things, the humble things, the worms. So there you have it. Three innovations that prove that worms are way more than compost machines. They're cleaning industrial water, they're being monitored by cutting edge tech, and they're teaching scientists about immunity and disease. If you're already a worm nerd like me, I hope this fired you up. And if you're new to vermicomposting, I hope this shows you just how incredible these little creatures are. We're all about getting you started with worms here at Sunnyside Soil, whether it's your worm castings, worm extract, or just good old fashioned education. Because healthy soil starts with healthy biology. And worms, well, they're the MVPs. And if you love this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive. And drop a comment, what innovation surprised you the most? And if you want to grab some red wigglers or castings to start your own worm journey, check out the links below. Thanks for watching and remember, keep it natural, keep it simple, and keep those worms happy.